X2 has the piano roll view known as the PRV, is the main editing window. Unless defaults have been changed, it can be opened by double clicking on a MIDI clip or pressing Alt plus 3. It opens in the multi dock, expanded by double clicking on the tab, revealing the full window. Here is where MIDI data can be edited and drawn. A key pane extends down the left hand side, representing note pitch, and any attached controller key presses will also indicate here. The tracks included in the view can be chosen from the track picker, and included tracks are listed in the track pane, while their data is shown in the notes pane. The track pane can be shown or hidden from the view menu. It's possible to open a different PRV for each track. Just select Lock Contents from the current PRV tab and open another instance by pressing Alt plus 3. The view can have its own snap grid set here, but the global snap needs to be turned on as well. The resolution set in the PRV snap is the resolution the main note pane grid will follow if Grid Follow Snap setting is on. Track Data Visibility and Edit Control is controlled from the track pane by clicking on the filter buttons just to the left of the track name. Protected data is shown as gray, and a white indicator on the visibility filter indicates that data is hidden. The main note pane is where the notes are drawn and edited. A note is represented by a rectangular shape. The length of the rectangle indicates its duration. Its pitch by its position, relative to the key pane, and velocity shows as a vertical tail in the controller pane. The controller pane is shown at the bottom of the view and can contain as many lanes as needed. Lanes can be added or hidden from here, and each lane has its own edit filter to choose the controller type. Draw and edit controller data by click-dragging in the relevant lane. If this controller lane is hidden, the controller data will be shown in the main note window and the edit filter moves to the top left where the data type to be edited can be filtered. In addition to the regular key and note pane, there is also a drum pane view available for working with drum maps. The most obvious difference between the two is that the key pane now contains drum names rather than piano keys, but there are also mute and solo buttons available for each individual drum sound. This pane makes working with drum synths much easier. In addition, the note data is represented slightly differently with velocity showing above the drum notes which are represented by a wedge shape. Finally, there is a scale manager available which will constrain note input and movement to the chosen scale. Each track can have its own scale settings and it can be turned on and configured by right-clicking on the track in the track pane.